गुड मॉर्निंग दिस इज डे नाइन ऑफ द अटल यात्रा एंड यू जॉइन मी इन भुवनेश्वर एट द मे फैल गून दिस इज दू जस्ट आउटसाइड माई रूम एंड या आई एम हैरिंग ऑफ टू ब्रेकफस्ट एज आउट साइड नियर से डेज वेट ओ दी अ लिटल लेट स्टार्ट टूडे बिकॉज द रोड आर सपोज टू बी वेरी गुड एंड आई डोंट रियली हैव एनी थिंग प्लान इन विशाखापटनम मैंने कहता है सो इट्स गुन बी अ रेलेटिवली रिलैक्स डे टू डे नॉट अ वेरी लॉन्ग किलोमीटर काउंट ई दस रफली अराउंड फोर हंड्रेड किलोमीटर्स फ्रॉम हियर एंड या आई विल बी क्रॉसिंग द चिल्का लेक सो होपली आई गेट सम नाइस फोटेज ऑफ दैट ऑल्सो लुक एट दिस हाउ कुल इज जस्ट कॉट अवर विंटेज का पार्ट in the common area i know what it is they've got information right here it's a ford road stop it was little tough to make out from the side this as you can see 1940s road so that means essentially it's a uh, soft top convertible and very cool relatively well maintained i don't know if it's in working order but it's lovely seeing cars like this i could do with a little bit more tlc but very very cool casual mercedes w123 just sitting around the hotel it's quite cool and there's a nice lagoon here again why it's called the mayfair lagoon is so cool Lovely Plymouth suburb, and this is an estate. I absolutely love the body style. Look at that for cargo space. Look at that. This kind of styling features just ridiculous. Right and drive too. That's it. Love the color also, dark green. Okay, guys, I have just gotten underway. I've left Bhubaneswar. I am right now on the highway section, just uh, after the hotel. It didn't take very long to get onto the highway. Um, and i have roughly 420 kilometers of driving to do today yesterday was just under 500 and uh, i has as i said about 7 seven and a half hours without break so probably closer to 8 i'll let you know it's may got quite late leaving i only ended up going at 10:40 i left i think 10:35 10:40 It's about an hour later than I had planned, but uh, yeah, now I think the roads are supposed to be very good, and I'm very excited to see the Chilka Lake. So I will uh, catch up with you guys when I'm at Chilka. There is the road highway down towards Vishakhapatnam. You can see the hills off in the distance, and. It's actually quite a nice six-lane highway. A uh, little bit of traffic, but that's because I left late. But yeah, 
so far journey is going quite good and there are plenty of rest stops also here so that's another thing in case you're wondering this terrain is so nice it For lunch, I stopped at the Swasti Hotel, which is right on the Chilka Lake, and its proximity was one of the reasons why I picked it. It is a very pretty property, and it's got a lot of greenery, and you can see even the pool looks really good. But at the end of the day, what I was really here for was the view of the lake, which you can access by a buggy or take your car too. which is what i ended up doing and oh boy just look at the harrier against that backdrop this is the chilka lake it is the largest brackish water lagoon in asia and it is the second largest lagoon in the world 1100 square kilometers it is huge and look how blue the water is let me see if i can get yeah that's the best i'm going to get out of this There's a tiny little island out there. It looks really cute. It's got a little shack on it, and there's some boats here, which go out. I think they take tourists out. I won't have the time for a ride, but that is. gorgeous let me just zoom out a little bit huge lake i'm really glad i took the detour to come here it's uh, quite a sight my lunch stop ran quite long and i ended up leaving chilka lake only by around 3 3:30 The road and the landscape these last few kilometers has been really really pretty like look how gorgeous it looks I'm just going to zoom in a little bit so that you can see the hills and this road just like uh slices through it but not all the way through like it still winds with the hills it's not like it's just cutting a straight line through it and yeah just look at the scenery i'm very much happy with what this road has been this is the road after chilka lake headed towards vishakhapatnam it's just gorgeous am i glad i got to do this drive today like it's probably been a highlight in the last couple of days this route's been fantastic I couldn't resist stopping by the side of the road just to capture some of the amazing terrain that was there on either side of the highway. This is the first fuel stop of the day. I am as you can tell at a hp pump car has just gotten filled up and we have about another 50 odd kilometers to go before i get to uh which uh, to vaisak so i will catch up with you guys there 
Due to my delayed start and the extremely long lunch stop that I had at Chilka Lake, I ended up having to drive into the night. The night driving itself wasn't too bad as the roads were fairly wide and well marked out. But as it is the case all over India, regardless of how well the roads are laid out, our traffic isn't particularly great and you really have to stay on your peak game in order to navigate through traffic. While traffic on the whole was pretty good throughout the entire drive, I did encounter a little bit of traffic while entering Vizag, which is to be expected as I was entering the city only around 7, 7.30, which would have been the peak traffic hour and it was a weekday. I have just reached Vishakhapatnam. I'm getting my bag out of the car. I'm staying at the Radisson right now. Unfortunately, they don't seem to have any drivers available for the, what do you call it? For the valet parking. But it's been a decent uh, drive today. I ended up uh, leaving quite late, had a long lunch halt also. So all things considered, it's been a fairly <laughs> seamless ride here. The roads were really nice and I think this is some of the best uh, scenery I've had all trip long. So. That was also definitely worthwhile for me and uh, yeah I think all in all it's been a good driving day at 7, 7 p.m. So I think total it's taken me about seven and a half eight hours driving time if you take the breaks out seven and a half hours which is not bad at all and uh, yeah I think that's where I'll end it for today and I'll catch you guys tomorrow when I'm heading off to Guntur. So see you guys then. Until next time. Cheers.